Hey, I'm Andy Allidord, and in this edition of In Deep, we're going to be looking at the concept of playing outside, not outside your house, but playing outside of standard key signatures or tonalities, how to spice up your solos using different scales, different shapes, symmetrical ideas. Uh, now, one thing about the whole concept of playing outside is what might sound outside or unusual to one player uh, may sound completely normal and inside to a different player. So it depends on what your ears are used to, the kind of music that you listen to. Uh, in most styles of music, uh, pop, rock, blues, country, whatever it might be, the whole idea of playing outside of the key is something that's frowned upon. People don't want to hear that. Um, but within jazz and certainly different styles of metal, uh, those types of music are more accepting of unusual sounds or dissonant sounds or atonality, things that uh, fall across the music and sit over the, a home key signature in a different way. Uh, a good example is jazz. Jazz, generally speaking, has been much more accepting of the whole idea of playing outside, but went through its different incarnations. And one example would be in the late 40s uh, with the uh, creation of bebop music through the music of Charlie Parker, Thelonious Monk, and uh, Dizzy Gillespie. They started to use more scales and superimpose different chords. And the older musicians frowned upon that, and they called it wrong note music. Louis Armstrong called it Chinese music. Uh, you know, they didn't like it. But within a few short years, all those musical innovations were readily accepted. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at some different scales, and then I'm going to show you some different concepts, either using different scales or taking a symmetrical idea, a motif or a, a module or a scale shape or riff shape and moving it to different areas of the fretboard to get a different outside sound. Here we go. All right, let's start out with some simple minor pentatonic type licks and ways to make them sound outside. Some of Rock's greatest guitar players like Jimi Hendrix, Eddie Van Halen, Zach Wilde, the Dimebag Darrell, uh, Randy Rhodes uh, would take a minor pentatonic idea and move it around on the fretboard chromatically up and down to attain an outside sound. One of the best examples of that is the end of Randy Rhodes' I Don't Know solo. He played uh, a Dorian lick and then he just moved it down the neck chromatically to get a, a very weird jarring kind of a sound. So let's start off. Uh, the first lick is going to be based on A minor pentatonic and I'm just going to move it up and down the neck and then move it into a different scale. And you'll see how a symmetrical shape or a module, you can call it whatever you like, but just a pattern on the neck can be moved around and placed against a certain key signature. It's going to create uh, an unusual dissonant atonal outside type of sound. So this riff is based on A minor pentatonic in fifth position. And I'm just playing this module, this four note riff at 16th notes. I start with that pickup sliding up to D the fourth. So the first three notes are picked and then I do a pull off. So I play that opening pattern. three times, and on the fourth one, I'm going to move up a half step. So it's actually four times, but it ends differently by moving up. One, two, three, four. And then I moved up again, move back down, back down, back down. So I end with A major pentatonic. But you can see how going, you can get this different sound. It's very easy to get that outside kind of a sound. Just by taking a shape and moving it up and down the neck. Here's another example of the same idea.
All right, again in this example, it's based on A minor pentatonic. A four note shape, it's played in 16th notes. And then I just moved up. So that first note to pick up, one, two, three, four. And then. And the last 16th note of that first bar is up a half step. So I'm just moving up another fret. Back down. So the last two bars coming down the A blues scale. Right here. That's like a 16th note triplet. Get to get down quicker. Just wraps up like that.